Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're first time here, my name is Jenny and if you're back, I'm happy to see you again. Guys, today I will show you the new fragrances that entered my collection. Most of them were blind buys. So we'll talk about them. I will show you them one by one. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. And if you're not already part of our wonderful small perfume family here, maybe you consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to welcome you here. And otherwise, we just start. The first one I want to show you, we're going to have designers and niche fragrances. And the first one is a designer and it is Mont Blanc Signature. This is the bottle. It's a 90 milliliter bottle that I have here. It was a total blind buy. Just the notes were calling my name. So I thought I need to try this. So this is a creamy, sweet fragrance with mandarin, magnolia, peony, ylang-ylang, benzoe, musk, and vanilla. To me, it's a very creamy vanilla with a citric opening, a little bit from the mandarin, but not too much. Mostly really a creamy, um, fresh washed, body lotion vibe kind of scent. It's slightly fruity, but really, really not much. Mostly citric and vanilla to me. It's sweet, it's clean, it's it's a happy scent. It's even a little bit soapy to my nose, okay? It's from the one hand sweet, but it's not too sweet. But it's for the sweet lovers out there. I think somebody who doesn't like sweet perfumes, this is not going to be for you. And it has lots of resemblance to the one that I have in my collection already a long time, Mask Therapy from Initio. I will say some words to this one in a moment. I just want to do first the um, signature. And what can I tell you? For the designer, I think the performance is good. It's not out of this world, but it's very okay. I'm coming around six hours. The longevity is around six hours. The projection is okay. It's okay. It's not shouting. It's not a beast or a monster or something like that. But it's there, it's there, you will smell kind of fresh out of the shower, but in a very creamy body lotion vibe. And I don't know, I like it very much, guys. I really, really like it. And I was really surprised. I mean, I thought I would like it. That's why I blind bought it. But that I would like it so much, I haven't thought, really. And it's a really good, I think, alternative. Not a dupe for Initio's mask therapy. They don't smell the same. This is what I want to say here, but they smell very similar. Mask Therapy from Initio is a fresh, creamy fragrance. And we have similar notes. We have bergamot, mandarin, magnolia, blackcurrant, sandalwood, musk, and more musk and more musk. This one is clean and musky. What I can say about Initio's Mask Therapy, it's definitely less sweet. It's not so sweet like the Mont Blanc Signature. This one is sweeter. So this is for me much more unisex perfume and probably better for the men outside there than this one. Because this one, I think for most of the men will be probably too sweet. For the men who like sweet scents, you could give this a try, but this one is definitely more unisex appropriate because the sweetness is much less. And this one, for my nose at least, is more sexy. This one for me doesn't have no sexiness. It's there, it's cozy, it's nice, it's fresh washed, it's this kind of scent. But this one has this initial sexy undertone. And for me, I have them both. I will keep them both. For me, they are different enough to have them both in my collection because mask therapy stays on my skin much longer. I'm coming eight hours and more. It has a much better sillage and a better projection. And I don't know, mask therapy is because it's less sweet, easier to grab for me and go than Mont Blanc signature. This one, I have to be in the mood for really sweet fragrances. And I know that I will have to respray this after five to six hours. This one, I don't need to respray. This one will stay the whole day on my skin and I don't have to respray it. So if you ask me and I could choose only one from these two, and it doesn't have nothing to do guys with the price. If a perfume kind of uh, costs less, 
for me it's not worse than the one that is costing more i don't care about that but if you ask me now jenny you can keep only one which one would you keep i will always keep the mask therapy from initial because for me it's more versatile i can grab it all the time i don't have to think about it and i'm fresh clean musky washed but with a good longevity and with this sexiness inside this one is just if i want to have the feeling of sweet fresh out of the shower nice body lotion on and no perfume on i will choose the mont blanc signature so these are mostly the differences guys um, but they are both great fragrances and if the initial is too expensive for you or you say I don't want to spend so much money on a perfume. This one is a great alternative. I think it's a great design, a new release and um, beautiful bottle. Honestly, I love this bottle. It's really, really beautiful. So this is Mont Blanc Signature, my first new fragrance in my collection. The next one is from the house of Parfum de Mali and it is Meliora. Now I, was keeping an eye on this perfume for a long 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 time and today i can just tell you why didn't i bought it earlier because i adore it guys it became one of my favorite scents in the world i never tried it out and i blind bought it and i adore it guys it's a fruity floral to me it is a green scent because it has green notes in it it's not listed, but I smell something green. We have raspberry, blackcurrant, rose, ylang ylang, lily, woody notes, vanilla, and musk. Now, the red berries here are very prominent to me. It's beautifully fruity, feminine, sexy, everyday scent. This could be my signature scent, and it's a floral with green notes. It has such a greeny touch and this is what I think I love the most. I love green notes in fragrances. Something green like in Liaison Dangereuse from Kilian. Okay, this kind of greenness, this is what I find here and I adore it. I'm obsessed with this kind of greenness. This one is sexy, but without being loud. It's not shouting, it's not in your face. It's there, it has a beautiful sillage, but it's not jumping. On the others okay it's not shouting it's a little bit more silent it's a little bit closer to the skin but for me it's not a skin scent i smell myself and the others are smelling me i got lots of compliments on this one guys it's a compliment getter the people in my surrounding are adoring this scent and i got lots of questions what do you wear what and i also think that it's quite crowd pleasing guys okay um, I think this is a perfume everybody will like. Nobody will get offended, disturbed, or um, because it's never too much. It's always appropriate. This is grab and go, and you will be feminine, you will be sexy, you will be joyful. It's for me a happy scent, and it could be my signature. If I would have one, this could definitely be it, because I never have to think about it. This goes for me any occasion, any season, any time, anywhere, and you will always be sexy without shouting and without showing off. It's just, you know it, you know, you know what you are and you don't need to show it. This is what is for me, Meliora. I love it. Longevity of my skin, seven hours. It's not the best. Delina that I have and Delina exclusive and Delina La Rosé, they all have a better longevity than Meliora, but I don't mind. For me, seven hours is absolutely okay and I'm respraying it and I don't have that fragrance long time, guys. And look what a dent I made. I'm really grabbing all the time. I'm loving this greenness. I, I, it makes me happy. It just makes me happy and I cannot, I cannot hype it enough. For me, it's one of the best blind buys I made one of the best <laughs> um gorgeous just gorgeous if you didn't try it out and you love this red berries that are really and what i adore in this scent guys the red berries are staying until the end in the dry down i can still get the raspberry the black currant the rose is very beautiful it's not too much it's not too grown up it's just everything it's everything i love it meliora parfum de mali 
And the next one is a real cheapy, guys. And uh, I found it through a, a subscriber from me that recommended it. It is Jean Art Silk Ylang Vani. Now, I don't know here in Germany, I paid for 100 mil under 10 euros. And that's kind of a real cheapy, okay? So I was not waiting for much, but I wanted to try it because they explained it so beautiful and they said it's so great that I was curious. I wanted to know what is it about in this fragrance. And guys, what can I tell you? Forget that it's so cheap. If you will smell that, you will not think that it's not a quite expensive designer. It a niche fragrance. It could really be. It smells niche. It doesn't smell designer. Now, the bottle is plastic, guys. Even if you don't see it, it's plasticky. Um, but I don't mind. Actually, on the vanity, it looks very beautiful. And more, more important is the perfume inside. And this one is something for vanilla gourmand lovers. If you loving vanilla, if you're loving coconut and ylang ylang, you should try this. Trust me, guys, you will not be disappointed. I was so surprised. I expected everything, but not that. We have coconut, we have plum, we have ylang ylang, we have cedar, vanilla and musk. Now, the coconut is for me not the present note here. I smell the coconut somewhere very much in the background. Mostly, it's for me a very dark, deep vanilla with the ylang ylang. And the ylang ylang is very, very present. It gives him this slightly tropical vibe that makes it very interesting. It's quite linear though, okay? It's not a complex fragrance, but but it's not one of those boring vanilla scents, you know, that are just heavy vanilla in your face and nothing else. That's not the case with this one, guys. It has really this suntan lotion vibe in a way. It's very sweet, but it's not too sweet. And what I love about it, it's very lightweight. You don't have this feeling, you know, vanilla scents on me when I wear them, they really sometimes turn very heavy and they're bothering me and they're making me tired. With this one, not the case. It's very easy to wear and you smell this beautiful tropical uh, body lotion, creamy, uh, you know, it's like a warm uh, hugging cashmere pullover. It's even silky a little bit in the dry down. I love it. Guys, it's sexy, it's elegant, it's for the vanilla gourmand lovers outside there. It's a must try. Don't underrate it just because it's cheap. This is what I can tell you. I have lots of lots of expensive fragrances, you know that, but if I find a cheap that really worth, I will recommend you this all the time. And this one is performing 10 out of 10, guys. It has a beautiful sillage. And the longevity is 8 to 10 hours, no problem. And it becomes even more beautiful after 6, 7 hours. The dry down is so beautiful. This could be a very good niche fragrance. If you didn't try it out, guys, I can only recommend, if you're into vanilla gourmands, try that one out. Jean Art, Silk Ylang and Vanille. I will link it in the info box for the names if you're interested. The next one is also a new house that I tried. I don't own not, no other fragrance from that house and it is House of Oud and this one is Empathy. Now, the House of Oud, I have my problems with this house, guys, and unfortunately also with this blind buy. I wanted to have one in my collection and probably it will stay the only one because I think something in this perfume house is not exactly what I love for myself. So this one is a fruity, sweet fragrance with um, mostly raspberry, tobacco, um, and then we have something like um, raspberry liquor, we have woody notes, we have benzoyl musk, we have fur and oud. Now, from the beginning, the oud, actually, I don't get almost at all here in this fragrance. It's, for me, not prominent at all. 
Um, mostly for me, it's raspberry, a fruity synthetic raspberry. And this syntheticness, actually, I dislike, honestly. And you know what it has? The tobacco that it has inside is not this kind of tobacco leaf that we have in Amouache Sunshine, for example. This one is really a smoky tobacco, okay? It's something like a cigarette, smoking a cigarette. It doesn't smell like an ashtray, guys. Don't get me wrong. But it's this that you really smell a smoky tobacco. Not so much mine, guys. This is just not so much mine. And I smell also alcohol. Um, it's for me synthetic, a little bit alcohol. And I think this tobacco note, is, I love tobacco in fragrances, but this tobacco note that is here is bothering me. And unfortunately, it's not a love for me. I wanted to love it, guys. I really want it because I adore the bottles. I think they are gorgeous. Um, yes, it's not the most important thing if the bottles is beautiful. The more, the more important is if the perfume is good. But I wanted to owe one. And if you're a collector, kind of like me, you probably understand me that we want to have different kinds of houses. And I want to have from each house maybe one fragrance. Um, usually... It's not staying one. Then I'm trying out more and more and more and they're becoming more and more. But I think with House of Oud, I'm done because the performance is also not good, guys. It's just not good. I'm not happy with it, okay? So the sillage, it's very much of a skin scent to me. It doesn't project almost at all, maybe the first hour only. And the longevity on this one, five hours max. And it's gone. And for the money that they cost, I'm really disappointed with the performance, honestly. Yes, the bottles are beautiful. I wanted to love it, but I don't want to force myself to love it because it's in a beautiful bottle. And I will tell you something. If it wouldn't be in this bottle, I think I would declutter that one. But I will not, but it will stay in my collection, but it will be from the house of Oud, probably the only one, because I think it's just not my perfume house. The question, do I recommend you this one? I cannot recommend you this because the performance is not good for the price. This is my opinion. The smell is for me not the best. What I have to say, and this is really the point, it is a unique smell. This raspberry with this smoky tobacco, I haven't smelled before and I don't know in other, any other scent. It's very unique in its scent. This for sure. And I appreciate the uniqueness. This is why it will stay. But all the rest, I don't recommend. Try it, but don't blind buy it, guys. I don't recommend you this at all for blind buying. Maybe some people will like that. For me personally, it's not a laugh. It will probably just live in my collection. But if I will grab ever for this fragrance, I doubt it. I really doubt it. Empathy from House of Oud, unfortunately, not a love and the last one guys but definitely definitely not least i mean if you're watching me from the states or somewhere around there for you it will be nothing special because those fragrances kind of are for you very easy to get here in germany it's another story i'm talking about house of sillage i was wanting these fragrances for years now. In Germany, they are very overpriced and very hard to get, especially the ones you want, they are, whether they're sold out or they're very overpriced. So I was waiting so many years and I got one offer for the one that I was waiting so long. It is Chevaux d'Or. And finally, I got it. It was a total blind buy. We don't have no shop in Germany who is selling that. I mean, you know, just that you can go and try them out. Yes, they sell it online. But as I said, they are very, very expensive. They're, the costs are like 325 euros. Okay, they start from that price. So it's very pricey. And I got a very good price and I got the one I wanted. And it was for me, a dream came true. And what can I tell you guys? I 
opened this beautiful cupcake and I fell in love from the first moment I smelled it. Oh my God, it's everything for me. This one is a sweet floral fragrance with wild strawberry magnolia, black rose, Turkish rose, vanilla and sandalwood. And it's so beautiful. For me, it's a sexy strawberry, very feminine, very elegant. It's fruity, it's floral, it's slightly woody and I don't know, the magnolia and the rose together just gives him this, I don't know, it's not that kind of rose that we know from other scents, like Delina or something like that. It's not that heavy rose. So I believe for people who dislike rose in their fragrances, even those will probably like the Chevaux d'Or because the rose is not this typical rose scent. I love rose, don't get me wrong, but in this one, I don't get it as a rose. It's just beautiful, floral, very sexy. This is for me a Valentine's Day fragrance. This fragrance I would wear to Valentine's Day, to date night. This is a really, men are loving that one. This is my experience. My husband adores it. He immediately smelled it on me. It has a really, really very good sillage and a very good longevity. It lasted on my skin around seven, eight hours and it was projecting until the end. I adore that one. I think House of Siage is exactly my house. I really love that one and I will really want to try more out if I can get my hands on it and the prices will not rise even more because then I cannot afford them anymore. And um, I can just say I love this fragrance. This is one of my top 10 for life because I adore strawberry guys. For me, it's a very sexy note and perfumes and it's not linear for me. It's very interesting. It's changing and it has this um, feminine sexiness without being too much and uh, it's, it's gorgeous. Guys, it's gorgeous. I'm a huge fan. I love the performance. The price is absolutely okay for this, what I got here, because I it's for me love. It's really love. And uh, yeah, I'm really jealous of the ones that are living in the States and they can just go to the store and try them all and get a good price because I know the online side of House of Siash has always so nice offers and percentage off and oh. well what can I say guys I'm happy with this one Chevaudor it's the the bottles are just everything I mean what can I say this is the most beautiful bottle in my collection it's a matter of taste not everybody will like it but I love those cupcakes and my biggest dream will be just to have a tray with a lot of those cupcakes hopefully that I will love them all because as it looks I will blind buy them because I cannot try them out but uh, yeah that was House of Sillage Chevaux d'Or. Guys these were the fragrances that I knew in my collection I hope you liked it and it was a little bit informative for you. Maybe you write me in the comments, what do you think about them? Did you try them out yet? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What about House of Sillage? Do you have anything that you could recommend me, especially the ones who tried them out and who know the perfumes just for me, maybe to get some information which one I could get next. Otherwise, I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Until then, bye bye.